Hello students, in this video lecture, we will trace one Cartesian curve y square into bracket x square minus 1 equals to x. So first we will check a symmetry as all the powers of y are of even degree therefore curve is symmetric about x axis. Next is origin as there is no independent constant term in the equation of the curve therefore curve passes through origin that is 0 comma 0. Now we'll check x intercept. To check x intercept we put y is equal to 0 in the equation. So by putting y is equal to 0 in this equation we'll get x is equal to 0. Hence the curve passes through the point 0 comma 0. Now to check y intercept we put x is equal to 0 in the equation we'll get y square is equal to 0 that is y is equal to 0 and therefore curve will pass through point 0 comma 0. Therefore only one point of intersection with coordinate axis is there which is 0 comma 0. Next we will find tangent at the origin. To find tangent at the origin we first find lowest degree term in the equation which is x then we equate this lowest degree term with 0 so we get x is equal to 0 that is a y axis which is a tangent to the curve at origin. Now next is a asymptote. Now first we will find asymptotes parallel to x axis to find asymptotes parallel to x axis we have to get highest degree term in x which is x square into y square then we equate this term with then we equate coefficient of highest degree term in x with 0 that is y square is equal to 0 that is y is equal to 0 is asymptote parallel to x axis. So basically x axis itself is an asymptote now. Now next is asymptotes parallel to y axis. To find asymptotes parallel to y axis we have to get highest degree term in y which is y square into bracket x minus 1. Then we will equate coefficient of highest degree term in y with 0 that is x square minus 1 equals to 0. This gives us x is equal to plus or minus 1. Hence x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 are the asymptotes parallel to y axis. Next we will find region of absence. This equation can be written in this form y square is equal to x upon x square minus 1. Now y square can be negative that is y square can be less than 0 if x is less than 0 and x square minus 1 is greater than 0. That means when numerator is negative and denominator is positive. That is when x is less than 0 and x square minus 1 oh sorry and x square is greater than 1. That means when x is less than 0 and x is less than minus 1 which means x has to be less than minus 1. That means curve is not present left to the line x is equal to minus 1. Next For the same equation y square can be negative if x is positive and x square minus 1 is negative. That means x is greater than 0 and x square is less than 1. That is x is greater than 0 and x lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So basically x is between 0 and 1. So curve is not present between the lines x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Now summary is we have symmetry about x axis curve passes through the origin tangent at origin is y axis asymptotes are x axis x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 these are asymptotes and region of absence is x is less than minus 1 and x lies between 0 and 1. So this is the region of absence. So from this, this summary, now we will draw the curve. 
so this is a region of options and this is also region of options then this is asymptote x is equal to minus 1 this is asymptote x is equal to 1 this is asymptote x, y is equal to 0 that is x axis and tangent at origin is y axis so this is the curve of this equation thank you